Alright, in the previous video we were looking at calculations in report footers and they're pretty basic ones. So here I'm going to look at a few others as well and then hopefully we'll get to do some slightly more complicated ones for you in the meantime. So have a look here. Here we have a report. Remember it's our computer database, the computer store and I've got the stock database here. I've grouped it according to audio cables. Oh, audio cables. <laughs> I've grouped it according to category, not audio cables. I've grouped it according to category uh, and we've got the category name, we've got the code, the description and the retail price. So let's switch back to design view. I'm going to add a footer very quickly here. So you should be quite familiar with how to do this now. Okay, you should be doing this without even blinking. There we go. Right, so there is my category footer. So we've done things like counting how many records we have in a particular group. We've done something like working out the average in terms of the, the, the cost price or something. Now in this report, I've got the code description and the retail price. Let's just do some of the basic ones that we already know. So let's do max and min. So here we go. I'm gonna just put over here, I'm gonna put the uh, highest, Oh, jeepers, I've got to learn how to delete text. Highest um, price. Okay, there it is there, highest price. I'll just move that across there. And that is equals, if you remember, the greatest number, the largest number is done with max. And we're using the retail price field. The field name goes in square brackets. Remember that, guys. Okay, so there we go. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to make that a little bigger so you can see the whole thing. Cool. And you know what? Just to make life easier, I'm just going to duplicate this stuff. There we go. Highest price and lowest price. And uh, you know what? That's just min. So far, so good. Let's have a look and see if it's working. What's happening there? Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. I got this thing sitting over there. Get that out of the way. Right. Put that back there. Right, let's have a look and see if it's working. Back to my view, go down to the bottom. Highest price, 69 Rand, lowest price, nine Rand. You know what, let's make those uh, switch to a design view very quickly and make sure that we can format those as currency. I'm gonna select both of them, just holding my shift key down, select both of them, okay. Format as currency, done. Super duper easy. I'm going to put a, another function in here and I'm going to use that as the sum function. So let's go to report design. I'm going to go here. Here's my text box. Click over here. And you know what? Let's just do a total. Let's just do a total amount right there. So I can see what is the total value. What is the total value in retail price per uh, per category? Sorry, he <laughs> said per subject. Per category. So that's equals sum. And you know what? We're going to put my brackets like we normally do, just like we do in Excel. And this time there's my square brackets again and I'm putting retail price. So that's the sum of retail price. There it is there. I'm going to format that currency again. Let's check and see what it looks like. Run it in uh, my report view, go down to the bottom, total, there it is. So the total value for audio cables, 272 Rand. So far so good. Let's do one more. What would the sum be of the discounted value? Well, guys, that's going to be the same thing as retail price divided by two. So have a look here. I can actually take this and I'm going to grab that there, copy that there, pop it down over there. Okay, so I'm going to take the sum of the retail of the retail price equals sum retail. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm being a little lazier because I'm just sort of copying and pasting stuff. I'm not actually typing out anything from the beginning. So have a look here. So now what I've done is that's the sum of the retail price there. And I've got equals sum retail price divided by two. So let's see what that does. If my retail price is 272 Rand with the discounts, that's half, basically, it's 136 Rand. So there you go, I'll switch to that. Pause the screen if you need to, Whoa, wrong, wrong one, design view. Pause the screen if you need to, just to get that and copy that down into your book as well.